Ah, hey there! Welcome to the pool! Ah, uh, isn't this just so relaxing, just taking a seat back at the camera moon pool? Huh? What's that purple stuff over oh, taking the water? Oh! <laughs> it's poison. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's culture, it's a culture pool, duh. Why didn't you think of that before, you idiot? <laughs> Today, in the culture pool, we see Dream, a new Minecraft content creator taking YouTube and Twitch by storm. Oh boy, this is gonna be a fun one. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy this internet culture dive. Ah, Dream, where do I even start? The man exploded onto the internet in 2020, riding the wave of the Minecraft renaissance for all it's worth. Like seriously, this guy was putting out banger series after banger series after banger series. It's also worth mentioning that this guy is cuck, cuck, cracked at Minecraft, my guy. He's so good that some people would even say that he's the best player of all time. But there is more to Dream than just his YouTube. He's also been excelling with Twitch, hosting his multiplayer Minecraft server, the Dream SMP. He's established a base on Twitter where he's ended racism. I, my heart goes out to you know, all people of color that follow me and um, and that don't, and uh, everybody who's been a victim of racism or discrimination or dream has taken over a large portion of the internet on many different fronts we have a lot of ground to cover so let's just dive right in as of now dream has 18 million subs on youtube putting him in the top 300 creators ever now go back one year and he doesn't exist. His rise to fame has been so explosive and so fast that it genuinely boggles the mind. I mean, don't get me wrong, Dream makes some great content, but so do many other creators. What makes Dream so special? Well, it's a combination of many things, including the timing of his breakthroughs, his skill at the game, and just plain luck. Dream skyrocketed in popularity right after the end of the Minecraft Renaissance, and right before the age of the crossover, with its most notable series being Minecraft Unsolved and Minecraft Manhunt, one of which is an extremely interesting theory crafting and solving, while the other is a scripted power fantasy that thrives in the gullibleness of kids. Can you guess which one Dream is milking? Dream's YouTube is probably the most simple section of Dream, so let's move on to Twitch. Dream created the Dream SMP, which is the third major survival multiplayer Twitch server. The first Twitch SMP was SMP Live, created by Call Me Carson in early 2019. This spearheaded the Minecraft Renaissance. The Dream SMP, on the other hand, didn't really start out that popular. It began only a few days after the death of SMP Live in early 2020. And at the time, Dream was only beginning his rise to fame, so the server didn't really have anything too special to it. It was just an SMP, but with Dream. That was until July Stun industry, where I use the Tommy Inets of the world to work for me to create things that the min-maxers of the world will want. Wilbur Soot, former Reddit reactor turned Minecraft streamer, joined the server with the intent to stir chaos, playing more for drama rather than mastery of the game. He was joined by many other popular Minecraft streamers at the time, including Fundy, Tubbo, Technoblade, and of course, Tommy in it. That's right, Tommy in it, the name that outclasses most in the internet hierarchy these days, got his big break on the Dream SMP. Well, before I get into all of that, I should probably tell you why the server is so special. In the beginning, the Dream SMP was just that, a survival multiplayer server, just with Dream. But what Wilbur and the gang brought to the table was a story. They gracefully balanced the lighthearted streamer banter and legitimate dramatic storytelling. Unless, of course, you want to call in that favor. What favor? Hmm. What favor? Wait, what, 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 what? Don't ask questions, Tommy. The adults are speaking. Hey. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I really just DM'd you in the middle of the lore, didn't I? What the I? fuck? <laughs> the thing about the storytelling is that it's deep. 
really deep. Now, I would love to spend hours going over the Dream SMP lore, but I'm not going to do that. And the crazy thing is, people watch this shit. And I don't mean just, oh, people actually want to watch this garbage. I mean that people watch this shit. These streams draw in tens of thousands of fans across multiple different streams. So, bit of a side tangent here, there is this really great infographic that was published a couple months ago that detailed the universe of Twitch, with each bubble being a stream that was in the top 50 at some time in one month. Each color represents a different group of streamers, not that they're connected, just that they fill a similar niche. You have the normal Twitch platform with the gamers, and the just chatting streamers, and the Spanish people, and then you have this invading force, the green giant crashing into the side of Twitch mainland. It's basically just the Dream SMP. Now, if you go back one year, this doesn't exist. These people are rivaling streams that have been going on for orders of magnitude longer. This is unprecedented, and these fans are avid. Do you see those lines that are in between some streamers? They represent the overlap of viewers between different streams. Now, look at the line between Tubbo and Tummy in it. It is bigger. The overlap of fans between these two is bigger than all their entire streams. It's insane. Like, like, what do these guys even do all day? Play Minecraft and be cute little boys? Th that's what I do. Where are my 100,000 viewers? Is it because I'm not British? <laughs> is that it? <sighs> anyway. Not only is there an abnormally large number of fans of the Dream SMP, these fans are something special. This is one of the few. FEW occurrences where a content creator, or even a group of content creators, have a fandom. Wait, how is that special? Doesn't every piece of media have a fandom? Well, inferior version of me, you seem to be confusing fandom with fan base. A fan base is a group of people who consume the same media, and a fandom is an internet society built around that base. Now, fandoms are a weird place, and I would love to go over them in detail, but all you need to know right now is that they are usually reserved for fictional media. Books, movies, TV shows, fandoms are built around fiction. So when a content creator, a real person, obtains a fandom, weird things start to happen. The event of a content creator obtaining a fandom is already extremely rare, with only two instances in the entire history of the internet being the Dream SMP and Dan and Phil. So when a content creator has a fandom, all of the traits of a fandom, the irrational love, the shipping, the fan art, the fan content, gets created for this person. And the problem here is that this is all normally meant for a fictional character, and it gets weird. One thing you want to know about me is that I am knowledgeable in all forms of degeneracy on the internet. From minion memes to hentai tags, I know it all. Well, except for one specific area. As you can see by this graph, my knowledge of degeneracy is pretty high in most areas, except for this one dip. Right in between furries and weeaboos is an area that I have dubbed the Uncanny Valley of Degeneracy, and it just so happens that dream stands fall right in it. For most forms of degeneracy, I can at least understand the appeal of doing it, but this, it's just uncanny to me. And I am only showing you the tip of the iceberg. This, this is not the worst they have to offer. Now, normally, I would not give a flying fuck about this type of content. I mean, in Minecraft alone, there is stuff that's worse than this. But the difference between this and this is that that's a human person. You are making what is basically Minecraft porn of a human fucking being. And like how the irrational love of Dream stands make Dream think he can do whatever he wants, the fact that Dream lets his fans do this makes them think that they can do whatever they want. And it's not just Dream, those two guys next to him are his friends who haven't even consented to it. Some fans have even gone as far as to draw pornographic content of Tommy in it, a minor. And now you have officially carried it too far, buddy. <gasps> 
treating Dream, a human being the same way as a fictional character, is a bad thing for Dream, his fans, and the people like us who have to look at this shit. That's why Dream stands specifically have been able to stir so much bullshit in the little time that Dream has been famous. I mean, between Dream trending every single day, the speedrun drama, the Twitter drama, Dream stands have reached a new level of annoying. They are at the point where they are annoying K-pop stands. That's right, K-pop stands. They are at the top of the food chain of annoyance. Ah, well, wasn't that fun? A quick dive into the culture surrounding Dream. His YouTube, where a series has been etched into the stone of our culture. His Twitch, where the Dream SMP has captivated thousands with his dramatic storytelling. And his fans, the black fucking mark staining the internet for as long as it exists. And honestly, even though it's a lot of fun to laugh at Dream and all of his fans, I kind of feel bad for him. I mean, to be completely honest, do you really think he wanted this? when he first started making YouTube videos? I mean, sure, he might have thought that he might make it big, but this big? I mean, do you really think he would have wanted people doing what they're doing right now? I, I doubt anyone would want that, honestly. And as a fellow abstract green avatar, I just have a bit of sympathy for the guy, you know? Eh, <laughs> still fun to laugh at him, though. <laughs>